Fiesta video log number six. Um, I haven't done a FRS video log in a while, and I apologize. I just I haven't been driving it, so I'm sticking with what I've been driving, which is the Fiesta. Um, today, this project is going to be mud flaps, um, which I'm really excited about. Uh, I think the Fiesta has quite a bit of poke in the rear, and I would like to protect the rear bumper a little bit with some mud flaps. And you know, mud flaps are one of those things where they're pieces of plastic, and you make it for a specialty vehicle, and suddenly you can charge $160 for them. So I wasn't about to pay $160 for mud flaps. I mean, it's just it's just ridiculous. FRS was the same way. It was like FRS tax. You made a sway bar that fit a WRX and it was $100, but just because of the fact that it fit the FRS, you suddenly can charge more. Uh, it pissed me off. So instead of going with Rally Armor or Rock Blocks or any of the other mud flap manufacturers, um, I went with Universal. And so what that means is I have to figure out how to put them on. And right now I'm on my way to Lowe's to pick up some uh, those retaining clips that have the nut screwed onto them. So you know how you can take the pop clips off. And when you take the pop clips off, you can put in this retaining thing and then you have something to screw off of or you can put a bolt through. And so the, the Lowe's that's by my place has a lot of these like specialty parts uh, for automotive. And so instead of ordering it online, I can just go there and see what they have and, and you know, basically build my mud flaps how I'd like. Um, so the remainder of this video, I'm going to I'm gonna show you how I put them on or at least see if I can put them on. If I fail, then whatever. The mud flaps that I purchased were 10 bucks a pair on Amazon. So it came to about 20 bucks for all four. And then the hardware is going to be cheap. I, so I should be able to get this done for about 40 bucks, I would say. And, you know, that's fantastic. Instead of instead of paying a huge amount, you know, 160 bucks for the rally armor. Now, I will say the rally armor has brackets. It has like a molded injection piece that goes up against the the uh, rocker panel on the front. Um, so, I guess you can kind of say, yeah, it's that's where the you know, the development and the cost is. But for me, I just want mud flaps and I'm going to screw them on and use those um, anchor points that I'm going to get at Lowe's uh, to put them on. Um, it should should work really well. Um, I mean mud flaps are, are pretty simple. As long as you get three, three good anchor points, um, they're really not going to, they're not going to fly off. So uh, nope, 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 not going to go many people it's really nice out today it's a perfect day to do this I mean the weather is just fantastic it's cool out the sun's out there's no uh, no rain coming so I'm really looking forward to it so uh, let's cut to, hopefully I can get the Fiesta up in the air. That's the other thing. The Fiesta has like terrible jack points. Uh, it really bugs me when I go to work on the F or the Fiesta because I, there's no diff in the rear. So I can't jack the car up off of the diff and there is no front centered jack point, which makes the FRS, getting the FRS up in the air on jack stands is like a 10 minute ordeal. Getting the Fiesta up in the air, it, since it's going to be a little bit more complicated, could take all day. And since I don't have a lift, it's going to be even worse. So hopefully Lowe's has what I need and hopefully the next cut I'm going to be in the garage with the Fiesta trying to figure out how to get the damn mug flaps on, or at least how to get it up in the air. So, let's cut to that. Okay, so day two of mud flaps. Um, I got the rears on, and I just finished with the driver's side front. 
So this is how the front looks. It's kind of subtle. I wanted something that was, uh, you know, just not really out and open and in your face. And then the rears look like that. And I think it looks really nice. Um, you know, it's kind of an acquired taste. I didn't like how much poke there was on the rear, so I wanted some mud flaps to kind of catch that. And there you can see the front without the mud flaps. And then here's the front with the mud flaps. So these were 10 bucks a pair, 20 bucks for the mud flaps, and then uh, about 10 bucks for the hardware. Um, real pain in the ass to install yourself. That's why a lot of the other guys make so much money selling uh, other mud flaps, but what are you gonna do? So I'll have a uh, parts list of what I used, and yeah, I mean, it's, it's turning out really good, so. Uh, let's see once I get the other side done. Okay, I finished the mud flaps, so let's go over what they look like. <clears throat> so here's the rear. Let's see how much it sticks out. It really is kind of subtle. I mean, it sticks out a little bit from the rear, from the side, but I like the way it looks. And kind of see the front is really subtle compared to the rears and it's because the rears have this like cut in the I mean the wheel well sticks out quite a bit and you can see on the mud flap it's already it's already starting to collect a lot of dirt and then here is the front I really like it I think it looks clean, I think it looks great, and uh, here's a picture of what it looks like um, that I took with my nice camera. So that's it, mud flaps are finished. Um, took me a little bit longer than I thought it would, but hey, they're done. And next weekend, Plasti Dip in the Wheels. So awesome, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like for more videos.